so in this video today I'm going to be going over this look that I have on right here in this tutorial I'm going to be giving you a couple tips and tricks on how to wear a dark lip during the summertime now I know personally I get so upset that I feel like I can't wear a dark lip in the summer when I really, really want to. Winter's over, it's not cold anymore, it's bright and sunny outside, and all the dark clothes are away, but I wanna bring back the dark lips. So this video is all about the dark lips. So there are a couple of tips and tricks that I'm going to show you on how to do your whole entire face makeup for dark lips to give it more of a summery feel and not a boring winter feel. If you would like to learn how I got this look or how to pair dark lips with all the rest of your makeup for the summertime, then please keep on watching. So the first thing that I'm going to start out with is my primer. For this look, I'm going to be using two primers. I'm going to be using my Ramel Fix and Perfect Primer all over my face, and then I'm going to be using my NYX Pore Filler just in small areas of my face where I feel need a little bit of extra primer. I'm then going to be using Max Prep and Prime Fix Plus Spray, and this is one of the new ones. This is Cucumber. I'm gonna spray this all over my face, and I'm also going to spray this at the very end. Taking a damp beauty blender and my L'Oreal True Match Lumi Foundation, this is in the color W6. I'm going to be placing a couple pumps on the back of my hand and applying it with my beauty blender. I'm going to be taking my IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, and this is in the color Natural Medium. I'm going to place the majority of this underneath my eyes, but whatever is left over, I'm gonna place on the bridge of my nose, the center of my forehead, my cupid's bow, and just a tiny bit on the chin. Before I blend that in, I'm going to be taking my Benefit Erase Paste in medium two, and this is going to go directly underneath my eyes to cover any dark circles. Going back to my damp beauty blender, I'm just going to blend this out. do a little bit of a baking technique under my eyes so I'm gonna be taking my Ben Nye luxury banana powder and this guy is going to go directly underneath my eyes I'm not going to blend it in just yet I'm going to let it sit and then I'm going to wipe it all off after I do my brows For the brows, I'm going to be using two different products, both from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the brow powder in chocolate, and this is the brow pomade in chocolate as well. I'm gonna start out by brushing out my brows, and then I'm going to fill them in with the powder first. For the dip brow, I'm going to be using this at the very ends of my brow and kind of give my brows a little bit of an ombre feel. So I'm gonna start off by lining the bottom of my brow. And then I'm going to jump to the top. Finally, I want to brush them out a little bit more so that everything is nice and blended together. 
I'm then going to take my NYX Wonder Pencil and just shape out those brows so that they're nice and perfect. When my brows are finished, I'm going to then blend underneath my eyes. And then using my Makeup Forever HD powder, I'm going to powder my entire face so that everything is set and will stay all day. For contour, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. And for this, I'm going to use just a mixture of all three of these colors. So I like to start out with these two colors and then move on to this bad boy over here just to darken it up a little bit. For my nose, I just like to use the lighter two colors. I'm gonna keep my blush really simple for this look and usually for dark lips, especially in the summertime, I like to go for a lighter cheek. So I'm going to be using my Orgasm Blush from NARS. I'm gonna be moving to the eyes. We're gonna keep the eyes a little bit simple. So I'm gonna start out with my Max Paint Pot and lay in low. After I've covered my eyes with Lay and Low or any type of primer that you want to use, I'm actually going to jump back to my Ben Nye powder and this is just going to go all over my eyes. The reason for that is so that all of our other colors that go on top are going to blend nice and easy and smooth. For my dark lip, I'm going to be using Antique Velvet. This is what it looks like. It is a matte brown color. Here's a little swatchy for you. So as you can see, it's very brown, but there is a little bit of a red undertone to it. So for our eyes, we wanna make sure that we stick with any colors that have a red undertone to it so that they go. This is so that our eyes and lips are complementary towards each other. And I want to have this bad boy right here. I'm just going to blend this color into the outer crease and in the entire crease of my eye. Taking my MAC 217, I'm going to be using the same color, but this is going to go underneath my eye. I want to darken up my eyes just a tad, and I also want to darken up underneath my eyes. So I'm going to be taking a little bit of this color and a little bit of this color right underneath and mixing them together. And this is on my Morphe brush number M562. So I wanna just blend this into the outer crease and kind of push it up. Darkening it up underneath my eyes and making the shadow a little bit more precise, I'm going to be using my eyeshadow brush number 221 from IT Cosmetics. I wanna then go back to that lighter shade and just blend everything out just a tad bit more. To brighten up this look and make it really, really summery and not too dark because of the lips, I'm going to be using my NYX Wonder Pencil in Medium 2, as well as my Becca Cosmetics Highlighter in Opal. I'm going to be taking my Wonder Pencil to my waterline. I'm going to start off by highlighting my face with the highlighter and my Morphe M601 Fan Brush. I then want to put some of that highlighter in the inner corners of my eyes and bring it up. And also highlight my brow bone. 
To finish off the eyes, I'm going to be curling my lashes and applying mascara and eyeliner. Eyeliner is an optional step. I don't always apply eyeliner, but in this case, I like to do more of a smoky eyeliner. So what that means is I'm going to take some black or really dark brown shadow and just blend that very close to the top lash line. For the eyeliner, I'm going to be smoking out Espresso from the Lorac Pro Palette. And I wanna get as close to my lash line as possible. For mascara, I'm going to be using my Smoky Lash, and this guy is from Makeup Forever. For the lips, I'm using Max Antique Velvet and Jordana's Lip Liner in Coco Loco. So once this look is all finished, I'm going to jump back to my MAC Fix Plus spray and spray this all over my face to set everything and make sure it doesn't go nowhere. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a big, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And also check out the blog post on this look right here. That will be linked down below on my website, which is juliasalvia.com. Thanks guys so much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye. Ooh, the popo. Holy shit, what the is this? Oh my god, this is the way that I take to fucking get home. What are you beeping your horn at? All right, let's um, drive a little faster now. Welcome to the Cherokee.